Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're looking at Llama and Llama Dice. Both games are designed by Reiner Knizia and are published by Amigo. The original Llama card game came out in 2019, while the Llama Dice game was released in 2021. In both of these games, the players are essentially trying to get rid of their cards as fast as possible in each round. The first person to do so ends the round and all other players get negative points based on which cards are left over in their hand. Whenever a player reaches negative 40 points, this ends the game, and the player with the least amount of points is the winner. Let's start out with a quick comparison and then I'll share my final thoughts and which game I prefer. Both game boxes are the same size, although the Llama Dice game box is thicker. The Llama card game features 56 cards, while the Llama Dice game has 43 cards. The cards in the Llama card game are larger in size, while the Llama Dice game cards are smaller, but of really high quality, great card stock, and good thickness. The point chips are identical. The Llama Dice game includes 3 custom dice, and that's pretty much it. When it comes to games, Reiner Knizia is genius in my books. Both of these games are fantastic. I really enjoyed playing both of these. They seem quite similar and they do have the same objective. However, the gameplay is not the same, especially with the dice rolling. The luck factor in the dice game is high, but it was awesome and I enjoyed it. What I really enjoyed about the dice game is when you roll all three llamas, you can get you can discard one of your negative point tokens, and that was such a great game changer. Overall, I wouldn't mind playing either of these. I had a great time with both. The only reason I can think of is that if certain people don't enjoy dice rolling games, they might not enjoy llama dice. Otherwise, no issues at all. Both are fantastic. I love the quality and the box size in the llama dice game. It's thicker and can accommodate all the components even when sleeved. Unlike the card game, if you sleeve your cards, it won't fit in the box properly. I had to resort to a deck box because of this. And this is a very common issue that I have with plenty of Amigos card games, as I do sleeve the cards in most of my games. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care and until the next one. Peace.